Achilles, Hero of Destiny. This lecture explores the life of the renowned Greek warrior, examining how fate and personal choice influenced his decisions and legacy. As we delve into his story, we'll see how prophecy and free will intertwine to create a tale of courage that has endured through time. We'll also consider how Achilles' story reflects broader themes in Greek mythology and its impact on Western literature. In Greek mythology, Achilles stands out as a remarkable figure, his tale highlighting the tension between destiny and individual choice. Born to a mortal father Peleus and the sea nymph Thetis, this warrior was marked for an extraordinary life from the start. His story challenges us to think about bravery and personal agency in the face of seemingly predetermined outcomes. As we explore his life, we'll see how his exceptional abilities and the prophecies surrounding him set the stage for a life of both triumph and tragedy. We'll also examine how his character embodies the Greek concept of arete, or excellence, in all aspects of life. Achilles' story begins with his parents, Peleus and Thetis, whose unusual union produced a hero unlike any other. From conception, he was surrounded by prophecy, with seers foretelling that he would either live a long, unremarkable life or die young in a blaze of glory. This prophecy would shape not only his path, but also the actions of those around him. Thetis, driven by maternal instinct and divine foresight, attempted to protect her son by dipping him in the river Styx, granting him near invulnerability. However, this act left his heel vulnerable, a weakness that would prove crucial later. This early intervention raises questions about the nature of fate and whether attempts to change it inevitably lead to its fulfillment. As Achilles grew into adulthood, the weight of prophecy remained a constant presence in his life. Rather than shy away from his predicted fate, he embraced the path of glory. When given the choice between a long, peaceful life and a brief but renowned existence, he chose fame without hesitation. This decision exemplifies the Greek heroic ideal and foreshadowed the pivotal role he would play in the Trojan War. His choice wasn't just personal, it was a decision that would influence the fates of nations. It's worth noting that this moment of choice is a common theme in Greek hero myths, often serving as a turning point in the hero's journey. On the battlefield, Achilles' true potential was realized. His combat skills were exceptional, his speed and strength enhanced by both his divine heritage and his mother's protective magic. In battle, he was a formidable opponent, defeating all who faced him. One of his notable early victories was against Cycnus, a seemingly invincible foe who fell to Achilles' might. The divine armor crafted for him by Hephaestus further amplified his already impressive abilities. Yet. Even as he proved crucial in turning the tide for the Greeks, his actions were often motivated more by a desire for personal glory than duty to his allies. This tension between individual ambition and collective responsibility became a defining aspect of his character. It's interesting to note that despite his prowess, Achilles was not invulnerable to human emotions and conflicts, which added depth to his character. During the Trojan War, Achilles' combat skills were matched by his pride, which led to a significant dispute with Agamemnon, the Greek commander, over a captive named Briseis. Feeling dishonored, Achilles withdrew from the fight, taking his Myrmidons with him. This decision, born from wounded pride, had far-reaching consequences for both Achilles and the Greek army. With their greatest warrior absent, the Greeks began to struggle, and the Trojans gained ground. His withdrawal demonstrated the impact a single individual could have on a large-scale conflict like the Trojan War. This episode also highlights the importance of time, honor, in Greek culture, and how perceived slights could lead to significant actions. As the Greeks faced increasing pressure, Achilles' close friend Patroclus could no longer remain inactive. Driven by loyalty to his comrades and concern for the struggling army, Patroclus approached Achilles with a bold plan. He proposed to wear Achilles' armor and lead the Myrmidons into battle, hoping to boost Greek morale and push back the Trojan advance. Still unwilling to fight himself but moved by his friend's plea, Achilles agreed to the plan. 
This decision would blur the lines between their identities on the battlefield and set in motion events that would fulfill the prophecy of Achilles' brief but illustrious life. The close relationship between Achilles and Patroclus has been a subject of much discussion and interpretation throughout history, with some viewing it as a deep friendship and others as a romantic partnership. The news of Patroclus's death at the hands of Hector, the Trojan prince, had a profound impact on Achilles. Overcome by grief and anger, he set aside his quarrel with Agamemnon and returned to battle with renewed purpose. He fought his way through the Trojan ranks, seeking out Hector. Their confrontation was inevitable, a clash that would significantly influence the outcome of the war. The duel between them embodied the Greek heroic ideal pitting divine strength against mortal courage. Achilles' victory was both impressive and disturbing, fulfilling his destiny as a great warrior of his time. However, even in triumph, he struggled to find peace. His treatment of Hector's body revealed the depth of his emotional turmoil and foreshadowed his own tragic end. This episode raises questions about the nature of heroism and the psychological toll of warfare, themes that resonate even in modern times. Following Hector's defeat, the full weight of Achilles' grief and the implications of his destiny became apparent. During this time, Hephaestus, the divine craftsman, created a new set of armor for him at Thetis' request. The centerpiece was an elaborate shield, decorated with scenes depicting various aspects of human life. This masterpiece of divine craftsmanship contrasted with the narrow path of glory that Achilles had chosen. The shield's depictions of cities at peace and war, of harvests and celebrations, served as a reminder of the life he had given up in pursuit of fame. As he donned this new armor, Achilles confronted the complexity of the world beyond the battlefield, a world he would never fully experience. The Ekphrasis, detailed description of the shield in Homer's Iliad, is considered one of the finest examples of this literary device in ancient literature. As the war neared its conclusion, fate began to close in on the Greek champion. The seemingly invincible warrior was about to face his destined end. Paris, guided by Apollo, targeted Achilles' vulnerable heel. This moment of divine intervention brought the prophecy full circle, from Thetis' attempt to protect her son to the very weakness that would be his downfall. The arrow found its mark with precision, bringing down the mightiest of Greek heroes. His fall was both swift and symbolic, a reminder that even the greatest among us cannot escape their fate. As he lay dying, Achilles faced the culmination of all his decisions, the price of glory paid in full. Some versions of the myth suggest that Achilles, in his final moments, found a measure of peace or understanding about his life's course. Although Achilles' life was short, his impact has been long-lasting. His story has influenced literature, art, and philosophy for centuries, shaping our understanding of heroism, sacrifice, and the relationship between fate and free will. He represents the complexity at the heart of the heroic ideal, the pursuit of lasting fame through a life cut short. His choices, though influenced by prophecy, shaped not only his own path, but the course of the war itself. In Achilles, we see, reflected our own struggles with destiny and desire, with duty and ambition. His tale continues to captivate audiences, inviting each generation to consider anew what it means to be a hero and how we face our own mortality. As we reflect on the life of this legendary figure, we are reminded that true immortality lies not in avoiding fate, but in how we choose to meet it. The enduring popularity of Achilles' story, from ancient times to modern adaptations, testifies to its universal themes and emotional resonance. 